on the road to reopening some positive signs for South Florida. Thousands of football fans returned to Hard Rock Stadium in Miami-Dade and in Broward. The show will go on next month for one of our area's biggest events. The University of Miami Hurricanes game becoming the first major event in South Florida since the pandemic began. And there's great news for boat lovers as a huge boat show will soon be sailing into town. CBS 4's Francis Wang joins us live from Fort Lauderdale to explain. Francis, good morning. Hey, Maribel, good morning. Yeah, the main location for that boat show will be here at the Bahia Mar Resort. The managers here say they've had to lay off 100 workers, but now they are hopeful they'll be able to bring back half of those workers for at least a few weeks. Last night, these buses were filled with University of Miami football players. They're arriving for Miami-Dade County's first major event with people during the pandemic at Hard Rock Stadium. Hey, I'm just glad to be here. I'm blessed to be here. Now, Broward County is getting ready for its first major event. There's going to be a lot of people that are going to want to attend this boat show. Broward commissioners approved a permit for the 61st Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. It'll go from Wednesday, October 28th to Sunday, November 1st. But one county commissioner has an issue with maximum capacity near 29,000 people at one time. We need to do some reduction to net square footage based upon the space. Every person will be required to have their temperature checked. Organizers have already released a video showing what's different this year, like requiring people to wear a mask, keeping a distance from others along with wider docks. And there will be more than a dozen entrance gates. And I can assure you with 100% uh, uh, certainty that we will uh, take enforcement action if it needs to be taken. There will be code enforcement, police, ambassadors, all enforcing the rules. The city, depending on this event, to breathe new life into its struggling tourism industry. Many, many hotel rooms uh, are supported by this, so that helps you know, the folks from the busboy to the waitress and, and all the way down. Broward has a two-week average positivity rate at 4.18%. In Miami-Dade, it's 63 These events are the true test for large outdoor gatherings to see if they'll have an impact on the number of cases. And last year, organizers of this boat show said it brought in $1.3 billion to this area. Of course, with the coronavirus pandemic, they are not expecting the same numbers this year, but they do expect a lot of foot traffic, which is much needed in this area, especially for the restaurants, the shops, and the other businesses. We are live in Fort Lauderdale. I'm Francis Wang, CBS4 This Morning.